What's up everybody, Praxis Visuals here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to flatten faces in Blender. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so for this tutorial, you're going to need two things. One, Blender, and two, your beautiful creative minds. Okay, so... Uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube on the internet and how to flatten faces and they all do the exact same thing and it's just so annoying so that's why I'm here making this tutorial and what they'll do is they'll try to flatten faces by this way they'll use this technique here as you can see there's creases on this little selection here and it's just not perfectly flat so they'll say select your faces and uh, what they will do is they'll say alright so they'll hit S to scale it, Z on the Z axis, and then zero. And as you can see, it corrected it. There are no flat, or no, no creases on the other side, the mirroring side, and it's, it's just flat. And yeah, they did what they were said they were gonna do, but the problem is, is that what if your faces you'd like to flatten out were at an angle? It doesn't work, because we scaled it on the Z axis, and then we hit zero. Meaning, on that Z axis, we want to be perfectly even zero on the all the way across. It just doesn't work because it's perfectly flat, like perfectly. If I go into a different view here. Uh, da -da. Nice, nice, very smart. But if I go into this view here, it, you can see it's perfectly flat. That's not what we want. Let's say if I were at an angle, like uh, like down here. Now you can kind of tell this is not at a perfectly, you know, uh, you know, zeroed out angle. It's, 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 it's at an angle, ta-da. But uh, let's just say it were worse. Let's say if I could kind of ruin my model here. Let's say if I critique things and I tweak things and I'm just, I'm editing things. Next thing you know, I look back down here at the once perfectly flat you know, plane down here and it's freaking nasty. So let's just say I wanted to do that and I selected the faces and I did what they said and this is what would happen. Go to this view here. So we're gonna do S, Z, zero. And now it is perfectly flat. That sucks. I hate that. Now you could say, you could say, rotate it to get back at that one angle that you were at. So go rotate on the X and you can rotate it back to what it was. And yeah, that works. That works. But I hate that last step. I hate having to rotate it back to what it originally was because it's not the original angle that it was at. It's always going to be different by the slightest bit. So this is why I'm going to show you guys a tutorial and how to properly I, I think properly flatten faces so what you're going to do is go to edit preferences or if you're in version 2.79 file preferences and you're going to go to edit preferences and you're going to look up loop tools and as you can see i already have it checked off but it'll look like this when you search it should be the only one on there and the description says mesh modeling toolkit several tools to aid modeling and it's exactly that so you're going to check it save preferences and uh, I'm going to exit out of that and let's just say we want to flatten it and it is at an angle very slight but it is there there is an angle so we're going to go ahead and select your faces which I'll just do it again and then hit W loop tools flatten and like that like magic it is perfectly flat it's amazing so let's just say if we're at a more dramatic angle for an example here let's use this one uh, this is you clearly at an angle right here this one right here so we're gonna flatten it and you can kinda tell this right here it's it's not perfectly straight all the way across so let's go ahead and select our faces here and uh, let's go ahead and flatten it so if you look on this side you'll see what happens so hit W loop tools flatten. oh it's amazing it's amazing but as you can see when you do stuff like that it'll start to affect neighboring faces and like if you kinda see here there's another little crease there it created so if I go back it wasn't there and now it's there when I fixed it now again that's I mean look at it. it's very very subtle very small and all you gotta do is you have to go into that little selection of faces so if I do these little faces here and flatten that out it'll work so it'll just know that it'll affect other faces around it and it will uh, it'll just affect it but all I have to do is just go flatten out those neighboring faces in the next step I think it's a very very uh, um, it's a really easy thing to do for such a big step or or not big but a very small step when you think about it 
but uh, it's a very very useful add-on i think every blender model or monolist should have but um <laughs> uh hold on a second this is gonna bug me i've been looking at that uh, so basically let's say let's just say you want to straighten out an edge so we're not flattening a face we're straightening an edge so let's go ahead and get these edges here okay so it's you can clearly tell it's got a weird curve there when you get this angle but when you zoom out you can't really notice but you notice as an artist so you want to straighten it out so hit w loop tools g stretch and it'll straighten it out Ta -da. is perfectly straight and like i said it will like these little tools here they'll affect neighboring edges or faces vertices stuff like that it will affect it but as you can see my model is still intact not to worry and it only affects it very subtly and if you're you know jumping around the model and you kind of notice it then there it is then you can fix it right there but it's not it's not going to completely destroy your model at least i don't think like if i mean honestly if you select you know this face and i'm oh, sorry if you select the wrong faces and you want to say go flat then it'll destroy it because you can see it's all at different angles this one's going almost a 90 degree angle there and you got this one here going at a slight this way and then you have this one down here going this way and if i do i'll just show you what it'll do it it'll destroy it then it'll destroy it then because you told it to do all these crazy you know angles and it's just not going to work but you just have to know which faces you're selecting and that's come on now you should be smarter than that but uh yeah, that's that's the that's the whole you know an add-on. Of course, there's a lot of other different things on here like circle, bridge, curve, and those things I I've kind of just touched upon very lightly, and it's all really just great stuff. And it's for add-on that's just you know right in Blender. You don't have to go on the internet and download it. It's right there for your disposal. And I think everyone and every Blender artist should have this one checked off, and uh, it's just very 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 helpful. I think. So uh, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys use this add-on to your very best advantage. And I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video, tutorial, short film, whatever it may be. So I, go, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.